north of England. Yeah. Uh, the road to hell is wide, and you can see very much what the scripture means when it says that. Uh, Sunday afternoon, where are the churches? They're in church. Uh, this is a ministry in itself, street work. We've always endorsed it. We've pushed it for many years. Uh, most of Spurgeon's life, he was on the street, as was John Wesley and other greats uh, from the 18th and 19th century. And if you are a Bible-believing Christian in America watching this, are you on your streets doing work for the Lord? And if you're not, why aren't you doing it? It's very rewarding, and it's where you meet real people. If these people don't go to church, they've never heard the gospel before. Take it to them. Tell them about Christ. Amen. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Hey, what's your God's name? What's what's Allah's name? No, Allah means the God. It's not his name. Right? He knows. By his own behavior, I'm a Christian. So what shall God do? What? Jehovah. I am the Almighty, the Creator. What's your God's name? God means the God. But what's his name? So you're saying the God, but you don't know what to be. Hey, people, do you know, and this man will tell you, if a Muslim falls asleep while he's praying, Satan will piss in his ear. Right? Yes or no? I didn't hear what you said. If a Muslim falls asleep when he's praying, all right, if a Muslim falls asleep while he's praying, Satan pisses in his ear. Is that true or false? It's in the surah. It's actually true. Okay? Now, they believe that Jesus is a prophet, but the Bible says that no man come to the Father but by him. All right? He's the way, the truth, and the life. All right? Allah never had a son. All right? But God gave his only begotten son, so that's different gods right there. Would you not agree? They, they serve a different God. I want to tell you something else. Muhammad was approached by an angel of light, which gave him the Quran, right? Well, the only angel of light in the Bible is Lucifer. That's Satan. All right? So this is, they're of the father of the devil. This is satanic right here. Right here. It's not of God. All right, they have this thing over here. Three men, one mission. No, 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 no. One God. One Lord, Jesus Christ. All right? Muhammad, did you know that Muhammad married a six-year-old? And had sex with him when she was nine years old? Now, what do we call people that do that? Pedophiles, right. Am I wrong, sir? He didn't marry... What's that? It's in the Bakrach. It's in the Surahs, all right? Check it out. Sir, sir, you said, you said that Satan, right, you said no, you said you didn't know, that if you fall asleep while you pray, if Satan doesn't piss in your ear, you don't know that? They're saying no, so they're lying now. See, like the father of the devil. See, the father, the devil is the, the father of lies. Therefore, his children will be what? Liars, absolutely. So I tell you, I would recommend that you turn away and you stay as far away from these people as possible, because the wrath of God's going to come one day. And you're going to take your last breath and stand before a holy and just God. And I'll tell you something, it's going to be terrifying for you when you stand before God without a Savior. Because God's watching you people right now, and hell's going to be a little hotter for you because you're deceiving people. And I don't doubt your sincerity. I believe you've been given over the spirit of deception, of delusion, and you promote this lie. All right, but God's word is true. This word, you know what the Bible has that no other book has? 100% accurate prophecy. The Quran doesn't have it. See, look at what they try to do here. See? For those who claim, look at that, God's word. Remember, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Remember that, right here. Even though, all right, this is a lie from the pit of hell. And I rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke you. That can substantiate the, son of Satan. the issue. Muhammad was a pedophile. Yeah. No Christian here. He had sex with a nine-year-old girl. 
He said if you pray and look up to heaven, your eyes pop out. Oh, well, that doesn't happen. All right? I prayed and looked up to heaven. My eyes never popped out. All right? He was an epileptic that would have seizures, and they'd put a, a white sheet over him, and he'd have all these visions when he came back. Could be. Come on, now, you know better than that. With their eyes. They didn't have a linear sense of time. He has and Nimrod burning Abraham at the stake, and they didn't even live in the same time frame. Read the Bible. There you go. Trust me, but I just want to let you know. All right? I'm here to rebuke you. I'm here to rebuke you. I don't need to hear what you need to say. No. You have nothing I want to hear. You are so caught up in your deception. Nothing. I'm here for these people. I'm here for the people that you're trying to deceive. You're already caught up in your delusion. We don't need to listen to you. Okay, no, we'll no, turn no, away. To Move you. on. I'm but talking you, to these people. What a child. What's that? These guys have come today. That guy to right there called me over to him. He said, come here. So I came over here. And now you got me. Now you got me. If the child asked, well, he hasn't told me to leave yet. He didn't tell him to tell me to leave. That you are my He called me over. I'm here preaching. That you are my I'm a preacher. I came all the way from the United States to talk to these people. That's what I'm talking. I'm preaching. I'm sharing the truth of God's word. Yeah, but when it hits, and you guys believe. turn his back, you can't answer, believe. you're lying to these people. Feel. We're not, we're not through them. What's that? We're not here to debate. So, so some guy you're not here to what? We're not here to debate. We're here to, we're here to, we're to give information. We don't want to argue. Okay, well, we're not here for an okay. argument. You no, the is, the truth the divides. Was standing there. Was no, the camera right here. Divides. What's this for? What's this for? When you tell the truth, it's going to be two groups of people. What's this those for? that receive that the truth person. and those Jesus that Christ. reject it. You have divisions. So you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay? Preaching these lies. Trying to bring people into such wickedness. It's wicked. Just recently. Wicked. Wicked. Casting no aspersion. But God's watching them. Warning people. Judgment. It's coming, no one. and God knows everything that you think, and He hears every word that comes out of your mouth, and He knows and sees every deed you do in your flesh, that one day you will give accounts before a holy and just God, and it will be terrifying to stand before Him without a Savior. Yeah, but now you've been warned. See, now you're warned. Now figure that out. You got that? Now when you stand before God, you can't say, I didn't know. You understand? another person. All right, you're without excuse now. All you say is, they're just heathen. God bless you. All you say, they're anti-Christ. All you say, they just want to undermine the church. All you say, they just want to brainwash and dominate the world. And they want everybody to be Muslim or something else that you have been conditioned to say. Well, people have been saying that. But thank God, the world is changing. And today, the world is listening. Where are you guys going? See, this is, this is an example of light dispelling darkness. When truth comes, the darkness got to flee. And look at that, just a little five, ten minute preach of God's word, and all the dark Muslims, they all got to go. All got to go. Look at that. That's a darkness. It's a lie. It can't stand up to truth.